We are back in Middle-earth and Glorfindel is leading the army of the High Elves in today's Dawnless Days land battle. And we have a glorious, uh, technically it's a 3v2, but it's more like a 2v2. Um, we do have two High Elf armies here fighting off against uh, the, the dwarves of uh, Khazadum. Uh, and they have a, I think this is a gorilla unit, uh, a Holland Hunters here. So technically a, a, a light pole army unit. I think they also have Javis as well available to them. And uh, yeah, they spawned way ahead and they are getting rushed down by the elves. They clearly had a plan to sort of ambush the elves. It has not worked. They've run for their lives. Um, and you can see the rest of the um, Kazadoom army is trying to meet up with them over here as well. It looks like they are being led by Durin's Guard, a uh, crossbow infantry unit. We do also have uh, Angmar over here with his wargs getting ready. There's a warg pack already trying to get around this uh, this lake to try and get at them and then I think the uh, final army we have which I can't find it off to, uh, to find it right now our hidden is, units have been a, discovered. Uh, is a Mordor and it's just literally the ring race I th it's just nine men I, when we loaded in I was like oh there's a, an extra army I was like told this was a 2v2 nope it's a 3v3 technically there's the ring race here which to be fair that could make a big big difference it's a top tier unit I don't know if they're actually going to take part in the battle they might not uh, sometimes I've seen some of these uh, like sort of 3v2s technically, but it's just that someone wants to be on the battlefield and just want to spectate. We'll actually see whether the ring race take part. But we'll call it a 2v2 for now. Angmar and the dwarves up against two uh, high elf uh, sort of armies here. I mean, we have Noldor heroes already getting forward. The high elves are really strong in the Wayne Rider submod, which is what we're using here today. You're probably wondering how we have high elves. And we have Khazad Doom and Angmar, and it is because we're using the uh, Wayne Riders submod once again. Uh, it's a really fun submod, adds a whole bunch of new factions and set sort of in, a, in an earlier era of Third Age uh, when Ra Wayne Riders are the real sort of pain in the ass uh, for um, Gondor, and also Angmar is still about as a uh, faction as well. And they, there you go, yeah, the uh, the Black Riders, they, yeah, they have actually brought um i thought they were going to bring the nine like the um the shock infantry general but they brought an actual mounted unit so yeah hopefully that doesn't get used uh, in today's game because uh, i feel like that's otherwise a little bit unfair on the elves um even though they are supercharged these elves you know they're the high elves they're always good but uh yeah i don't want uh, them to have an unfair game we've got imlagis champions at the back lines here tier three shock infantry they're being left in charge of blocking off these wargs, which I don't know if they're going to go in uh, this early on. They might be just waiting, lying, and waiting until the actual fight begins. Um, but yeah, if I was the High Elves, I would have tried to rush down the dwarves. Uh, they're running out of uh, chances now with Angmar now arriving, but I definitely would have uh, tried to push on the, uh, the dwarves here as quickly as possible. Because the dwarves are really aggressive, and they definitely could have punished them. I mean, luckily they were being aggressive. Like, luckily for the elves, anyway, they were being aggressive... Um, like pole, well actually unlucky for the elves not lucky at all they're pushing with uh holland hunters yeah, these are yeah so the guys are going to be able to kill the cab that would have chased them down they do look pretty good i do like these i this uh, as an idea a pole arm and a javi is a very good anti-cav unit looks like they are going to go in here the older here is seriously going to go in looks like they are nope and we're going with good speed then it's only a 35 uh, elf unit or man unit um it is a really good cav unit though, uh, really, really good. I don't know if it will be beaten by dwarves, so wargs are anti-cav at the end of the day. This is a warg pack going in. These are tier three light wargs, uh, yeah, pretty decent. And it looks like the wargs are just gonna go straight on in. It looks like they're gonna go in after the high elven hammers in Legends Champions. Elven cav also breaking up the charge. And there you go, yeah, the wargs, I think, yeah, they're, they're pulling back and yeah, immediately they are starting to die. And there you go, the Elven Cav, yeah, showing its strength, routing that warg straight off the bat. That's very, very good. But yeah, I've been told that this is a super, super close uh, Wayne Riders battle. If you saw the other one we did a little while ago, I was just realized Glorfindel's a, a bow unit he's technically down as, bow infantry. He's mounted. That's a mistake. But if you saw the most recent Wayne Riders uh, battle, uh, it had Dolgal Door in it like twice. That was, and you thought that was super close. I'm told that this one was even closer. Like, this is one of the closest uh, Dawnless Days battles for a long, long time. Oh, Noldor Ray uh, here is there. What are you doing? Don't go in and just bait the Javis. Right? I mean, I don't know if the Elves, High Elves have uh, bows. I don't think they do. They have the, uh, a lot of Javis, and uh, they can bring Elrond as a uh, 
Kala Quendi Company. It's a heavy bow unit. I know that the uh, the high elves can bring like yeah, just bow generals, but that's it. They can't really bring like a, a bow army, which seems a bit odd. I will admit, but maybe it's just for balance. I'm not really sure. But he's gonna set up his bows. He's gonna start blasting away. I guess it's some of these pole arms, because yeah, the dwarves have just brought pole arms and shock. They've got mithril miners. Uh, tier 1, so they're bringing a Miner's Spam, and then they've just got Polon. It's got really low tier of the Dwarves. Uh, I don't know whether Angmar's got higher tier, tier 2. Doesn't look like it. They've got a lot of that, and they've kind of got Trolls back here, Hill Trolls, but it's not like the Elite ones. But yeah, I mean, if they bring the Javis forward, the uh, the Elves, they could just Javi all these Holland Hunters, and then that'll get them through this front line as well. Or they just go around the flanks, uh, where the Wargs are, and go for the Spears and stuff like that. And there you go, the Cavs gone in again! I mean, he has actually got a decent charge off there. He's causing these guys to lose. All the hunters here are already losing 30 riders. I mean, surely in the retreat there, I think the Noldor heroes have lost a fair few riders, making it not worth it, really. But there you go, not a bad charge at all. Here we go, now in goes Imlaj's company. They're gonna go in. I mean, I don't know how well they're gonna do against Shock either, we'll see. Against Hole, I'm sorry. I mean, the Shock are probably going to get absolutely rinsed by the Elves here. They look like uh, Amaral Sentinels with their, uh, like, blades and stuff. And yeah, they're actually, uh, they're killing off the Holland Hunters easily. Look at that. I mean, being a Tier 1 Polon, they are going to break relatively quickly, I would have thought. Uh, some Morale's obviously not their strength. Mithril Mine is trying to side charge and help with the Imelagis champions. I'm surprised the Elves have just sent one shock infantry forward on its own. I would have sent it all in or nothing, really. Because uh, the elves, you know, their biggest the weakness is their battle. numbers. Uh, there's a there's only a display. small amount of them. So if you to lose that whole shock unit, it could be a big loss. As you can see, it is losing now. We are going to see Noldor uh, heroes go in. I think these guys will fight to the last uh, rider, to be honest. These guys do seem super elite. I mean, if you're a hero of your people, you've got to be pretty OP. There you go, and Ladras Champions coming in, they're going to keep just trying to carve through these guys. They are actually killing off these elves quite nicely, the tier one shock. But a side charge there from the uh, Elven Cab, and then in, in Ladras Champions is uh, wavering them. And there you go, a Noldor hero breaks out one elf left. They got focused down as they retreated. The men are running. Longbeard Stand Legion here fight, as well, Daniel. so we do have some elite dwarves. They have, and they have throwables. That is going to be interesting to see how they do. And it looks like, again, Shock going in over here. And what do we have here? The White Wall. They kind of look like the old Manchu claimers, but with spear and shield. Yes, if you want to see more Dawnless Days, more Lord of the Rings action on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and a comment show you support. It really does help out the channel as we work towards 11k subs. And if you don't want to get cut down by a Noldoran hero, I recommend uh, by a Noldoran hero, I recommend you do so. Unless you want to be one of these poor and Anduin axemen down here. The wargs going in as well. We've got uh, Imlaj's champions as well getting stuck on in here. It's a really good idea. Send some shock in. It allows you to pull the cab out if you want to and you can go elsewhere with that. But they are breaking all these Anduin Axemen really nicely there. So that is very, very nice. It looks like missiles are being used to shoot the, uh, the Holland Hunters here. You can see Elrond is uh, doing what damage he can before he's in his, his Noldor Vanguard. Again, the shock here. Uh, this is the second Imlander's champion by the looks of it, is being broken. I mean, yeah, the first is broken at four. This one looks like it's going to break at, yeah, ten. Now the Noldor Vanguard going. These just pretty much are like, um, I forgot what they're called in the, uh, in vanilla, like sort of Storm of Stays. But they're pretty much just like the tier four swords that you have in as Imladris. I've forgotten what they're called. They're called like Noldor, Noldorian nobles or something. I can't remember what they're called. It's, the my memory has failed me. Mithril Mine is getting into uh, Javis over here against his Lords of Loon. I imagine the Elves are okay in a melee fight. I would be surprised if they're not. Uh, 
Yep, well, they're losing. On the charge they lost there, uh, their shock is still also doing really well here in Magic Champions. The Noldorn heroes are getting into the back lines, killing off a lot of these under an axeman, but there's still plenty more of them. And we've still got Glorfindel over here and another Noldor hero. So they've still got some cavalry, but they're going to need more. And actually, it's been a counter offensive from the dwarves. They're now going to try and charge down uh, Elrond. Elrond is uh, getting out his sword and shield, and he is cutting down these, uh, these m miners. And the Vanguard have broken through. They're now into looks like the Longbeard Legion. And more shock has also been thrown up to try and help this, uh, this offense, stop this offensive. The elves are breaking through, so they can do a setting in more. Yeah, here comes more Vanguard. They need to keep occupying the, the, uh, the guys in front of them. They've got pikes in the back lines as well, and Our guardians of the straight wavering. roads. There's some decent units here. And the Lord's Loon, yeah, are starting to win this fight. I think it's because they're getting uh, shot in the back of the uh, shock by Glorfindel. And Lager's champion's getting stuck in. Yeah, I mean, they're facing the uh, Legion of the Shadow. Not a good, not a good matchup there at all. I mean, Shock does really well against Spears, and against Tier 3 against Tier 2. That's not good for Angmai. He needs to uh, resort that out. We've got the Witch King just dancing around at the moment. Looks like we're about to see the trolls get thrown in. Hill trolls are arriving. And the Cav and the Shock here is helping to get rid of these Axemen. Spears are trying to hold them in place now. Start using any uh, Javi ammo on these hill trolls. Like, I mean, the loon, uh, yeah, these lords of loon here, they're definitely, you know, being brought for that job, killing trolls. So we have here El high elven hammer, tier three unit as well. Surprise, surprise with a hammer. Facing off against the long beard legion. But look at this, the uh, elves have been defeated right in front of the dwarves. The dwarves are absolutely slaying it right now. They're doing a really good job. Angmar not so much, and that's really where the elves should really be focusing down, trying to get you know, through Angmar and then in behind the dwarves. I think that is the play at the moment. We'll see. The wargs, by the way, are still in the back, and they're actually now making their strike, it looks like. It looks like here comes the, the wargs. I mean, what they've got to go for is some pikes and some spears. And if they uh, play this right, they could probably get uh, Elrond here. Elrond is uh, looking pretty bad. He's uh, losing in a fight against Mithril Miners and could potentially get rear charge. It looks like the Wargs are going to go for the Javis instead. It's a better target, I guess, in that sense. Also, these guys are full ammo. This is like a huge loss for the Elves to lose these guys. Yeah, I think Wargs are just pretty weak at like harassing sort of units in Wayne Riders. I don't think they're supposed to be like super powerful. Like they are, like the Warg Riders at least are in a uh, in Dawn of Stays. But there you go. Yeah, Lords of Loon are losing decisively. And goes another Vanguard. Flanking Longbeard's Legion. Elrond is in bad, in a bad, bad shape. And he is probably going to die very soon. But look at this. Angmar is, uh, yeah, being broken through. The Witch King's actually had to go into the front line. How serious he's got. He just broke a, I don't know, he's broken some champions of Ladris. The men are running, cowards! I would have thought, I don't know, maybe Glorfindel is too better. Yeah, she's a shock cav as the Witch King, not melee. Uh, and Glorfindel is, yeah, potentially bow infantry, which I think would actually correlate across in a melee fight. I think you get cut down. The action down here, though, again, has been slapped by the Lord Bloon. Again, they need to use Javis and stuff on the trolls, and it looks like they have been actually. They're down to seven. I don't even know. I think most of them might have been Javis. I can't see other any other scenario where well, they survived. I see them fighting down here in the trees. Shame we can't get rid of trees like you can in a uh, Rome too. There you go. They're in uh, a bit of trouble there at the Lord's Loon. Elrond is still holding on. Five men left in his bodyguard. We've got high elven hammers turning around to deal with the uh, deal with the wargs. I think the Lords of Loon. Might have died? I think they might have died. 
A unit's ammunition is spent and it can no Numbers wise, it's not looking good for the elves. 500 against 2,000. <laughs> 500 highly trained uh, elves, while the, uh, the dwarves and the Angmar have brought a lot of weakened stuff. There you go, I think that's Elrond dead. Whether that's going to make a difference at morale, I don't know. The elves are, you know, pretty elite as it is. There you go, General's died now for uh, for Angmar. And actually, that yeah, that's Angmar's General dead. Glorfindel has managed to assassinate him with the uh, Noldor heroes. Uh, Angmar might be about to die here, and then it's just the going to be dealing with the dwarves. It's going to be huge. We'll see how the balance of power changes. It's 400 against 1600. It's still a 4-1 to one in favor of the dwarves right now. I mean, all of this action down here, and the Elven uh, Vanguard is still winning. These Noldorian Vanguard are still slaying Longbeard Legion. Wargs might break. Crazy stuff. Pike's just going to hold on. Reinforcements are on the way. If they kill the troll, I mean... That's going to surely help the balance of power. The it looks like they have. It's still not actually affected the balance of power. Here goes Cav into a pole arm. What is he doing? It's a no I mean, he got a good charge, but... They'll just kill you when they stand up and then on the uh, on the retreat. And that, you, there you go. But yeah, but look at that. Not wavering. One rider left. That is crazy. It shows how strong those Noldor heroes are. In morale, anyway. Glorfindel still done. I didn't even see what his uh, general was called. Harold Horseman. I don't, and yeah, just good to see that the Nazgul are still way over there, just sitting Our back, watching on. This is a shameful display. Harold Horseman here, though, they've got to keep this up. They combat even, fighting Barrel Whites. These are the sort of units that are unbreakable. They're just going to, you know, be a pain and swamp your troops and slow you down and that's exactly what you know Angmar needs to do they just need to give the dwarves time because right now the dwarves are surrounding the elves in a lot of places here encircling them How has this Noldor Vanguard survived? That is insane. If they get the Durin Guard here, that could be huge. I and mean, there is obviously an Android Axeman, Axeman as well trying to jabby these elves. It's probably killing more of them than anyone else's men is wavering. Hope. There's a lot of pole arms here wavering. And even the axes for the dwarves. It's not looking good. I don't think the dwarves will master out, but they, they maybe they will. There's an elven unit over here that's been dragged away by the dwarves actually as well. And a Kazadaxra. They're just ch are being chased away by these guardians of the straight road. The that could be huge because the, the uh, elves yeah, are losing a top tier spear now to uh, just a, a bit of a chase. They could do with just sending the Noldorian uh, uh, like nobles after that. Sorry, the Noldorian he uh, heroes after that. Glorfindel has managed to disengage from the Barrow Whites. And now he's going to be able to hammer an anvil if he wants. But look at all of that wavering there for the dwarves. This is crazy. And there's still six, seven minutes left of this replay. I don't know how the elves are keeping this fight up. The white wall, yeah, just I think they're gonna just be uh, the real like killers here for the elves. They just don't die. Elven hammers are now gone. Here comes Glorfindel, he's rear-charged, oh actually he hasn't rear-charged, he's in the pipe, or the pole arm, sorry, I look in the right way. Doesn't matter though, Glorfindel's just smashing into them, breaking them, insane. Now he needs to somehow get these uh, Durans guard, that is the, that's the killer really, he's got to get them. He can also chase the long beards, we'll go for the Anu and Axes, he's got all sorts of options. They just don't want to get stuck down fighting those Barrow Whites, which, uh, I mean, one of the largest champions being forced to do so, but it is cutting them down. The elves need to get more stuff over here, and they are running down these doors, making sure they stay gone, which is probably a good idea. 
It's now 800 against 300, we'll call it. Pretty good. Guardians are retreating. It looks like they actually have managed to defeat the Khazad Axe throwers over there. Must have caught them. All oh, the Khazads just turned around. Our men have rallied! In goes an Andu and Axe, which is a big part of like the army for the uh, for the dwarves, I'd just like to say as well. Like they are 160 of that 760. So that's a lot of their uh, that's like one seventh of their troops there in one unit. If Glorfindel just charges at once, I'll probably be out. Glorfindel again is still charging Longbeard, trying to do as much damage as possible to them. Pikes surrounded, refuse to die. I like how the Durin's Guard are all just in foreign armor. Very, very cool. Lords of Loom fighting on. I think these guys are just like re skin Woods and Realm Rangers. But it's still very, very cool. I'm still a big fan. Glorfindel now has uh, dealt with Longbeard. He can now scooch on around and he can go for a good charge here into the Anu and Axeman. That is what he's going to get. Rear charge these fellas and they might around. I feel like most of them missed their, uh, their target there, but they might still break these guys. The elves are also wavering themselves. Pole arms here still breaking. Oh my gosh, and the pike's breaking as well. This is going to be incredibly close. There you go. Glorfindel saves his shock, his champions. It looks like as well the Barrowites don't know what's happened over here, but they're both losing now, fighting off against uh, the shock over here. I think maybe they try to pull through. I'm not really sure, but Barrowites, yeah, losing. You'd expect it anyway. They don't really do much in the way of damage. Uh, Glorfindel is just psych charging the white wall. That's a risk, I'd say, with it being a general. Because I find the pikes are broken. I keep psych charging Durin's guard. He's a, a crossbow. It's not his strength. All the pole arm over here, it's tier one. It's already wavering. This is crazy. There you go. Holy Hunter's gone. They're going to try and fight, kill that uh, unit off, I guess. Cap will go in and run these guys down. Make them stay dead. And here we go. Noldor Vanguard getting stuck into the Durian's guard. And it is really close. I don't know how Balance Power is still so far in favor. I think because of the Cav, maybe? Like, if they got rid of that uh, that black rider, I think that maybe makes a big difference. For a Javi, you know, these guys fight on well. I mean, they are elven Javis, but still. Glorfindel needs to be careful. He's down to nine riders now. He's just still charging in. They're going to go in. It's going to be against the Durin's riders. Eight riders left. Needs to be careful. There comes the Guardians. They've arrived. The Guardians is straight road. They can either rear charge the spears here, or they can go for Durin. If they get Durin, then uh, they can probably master out the remaining dwarves. I'd imagine. Glorfindel going for another charge. See, there's a white, the white wall almost unfazed by that. 77, they're winning decisively. Glorfindel is about to get speared down, I think. And there you go, I think Glorfindel might be gone. The enemy. This is shameful. But he's got one person left. I presume it's cool from the others then got out there alive. And the encirclement's been broken, and the elves are starting to break because they have no general now. It's 200 against 150. You need a rear charge of this guardian. In go the guardians of the straight wall. I think they're pretty. Oh no, they're fresh. They're in. unit that's only about 50 in size, you expect these guys to be pretty OP. 
we will see. The White Wall is going to face them, face them down. Kill them off. I guess the sort of like scenario for this sort of battle would be that like the dwarves are maybe like evils invading the high elves and the dwarves are like you know what we'll take the opportunity to, to kill off the, uh, the elves as well we hate them so much we don't care we'll kill them too but there you go I think that's the yeah the jab he's gone and he looks at like the Noldor uh, elves are going to break just now I think that Glorfindel being killed off was just one too much for them and there you go a Pyrrhic victory for the dwarves of Khazad Doom. They are going to be able to uh, get their victory. And uh, yeah, what a fight. This was uh, from the perspective of uh, Duzgaz Vili, who's playing as Khazad Doom. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. Kamul playing as Angla, and then uh, Bane was just, you know, watching on as the Black Riders, it seems. Then we have Toast and UK Barnetman as the High Elves. So we have a quick look at their kills. So we have. Um, Kaza Doom here with 105 kills with the Durin's Guard. His mine is 69 kills, I think the best. You've got to remember they're fighting elves, so their kills aren't going to be huge. But uh, yeah, not bad kills, I guess, for that Mithril Miner. Uh, 88 kills with the Longbeard Legion and the White Wall, 87 kills. And then, yeah, the, yeah, the pole arms are getting masses. Then we have Kamul playing as Angmar. 26 kills with the Witch King before he fell. Uh, Anduid Axeman getting 94 kills is, I think, the second best. And it's probably one of their cheapest units. Yeah, that shows how good those Javis were. Hill Trolls getting 105 kills is not too bad. We didn't really see what they were getting up to, but they clearly obviously were causing a pain, and the Wargs getting 67 kills. Not too bad for them. Then we have uh, Toast playing as uh, Elrond's High Elves. I think he was the one mainly attacking the Dwarves to start with. Got 251 kills with Elrond before he fell. Uh, 178 kills with the uh, Hammers here. And then we've got the Noldor Vanguard getting... 111, 286 kills. Then we have Imlagis Champions, 151 kills, 116. Then we have the Guardians of the Straight Ro Road, 96 kills. And then 107 kills with the Noldor Heroes. Then we have UK Barnum playing as the other High Elf army, which I think is the one that was facing Angmar. And it kind of shows uh, Glorfindel getting 210 kills, 293 kills with the Imlagis Champions here. 419 with this one. I think, yeah, he's carving through those orcs and those evil men. Uh, 306 kills with the Imlagis champions here. 100, 239 kills, 131 kills, 126 with the Lords of the Loon. Very, very good. Then his Noldor heroes, 170 kills and 198 kills. There you go, guys. That is today's Dawnless Days battle. Glorfindel could not quite lead the elves to victory. The greatest elven leader could not cl claim victory against the evil men, orcs, and dwarves. But what a fight, guys. It was really fun to watch and certainly was a close one, really down to the wire. But yeah, if you want to see more Dawn's Days on the channel, more Lord of the Rings content, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here to comment show support. Do send in any replays as well to my Discord. The link for that's in the description. I'm always looking for more Dawn's Days content. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.